Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer and in this video I'm going to talk about custom page colors which is a new feature for MIDI Designer 1.6. In MIDI Designer we've always had page wide uh, colors and textures and LED colors and this allows us to get a lot of consistency uh, on the page. We go into more and enter design mode and double tap on a page tab we automatically see the texture, color, and LED. So we can change, if we go into tap for texture and color, we can change to a different texture, which will affect the whole page. We can choose a different color. And here there are 104 colors to choose from. So we get a lot of variations there for the page. And we can also choose a random LED color or choose an LED color at will. So by changing the texture, color, and LED, we get a lot of different options and the page theme changes. We can also change individual LED colors for controls, which is why these orange buttons are here on the page. So this is enough control for most MIDI Designer users. However, some of our users wanted more control, and we've added custom page colors in MIDI Designer 1.6. So you go to the Custom tab, and select a custom page color and now these are the LED colors and the advantage to this is if you're matching with an LED color like LED color 158 you can do that now before with the palette of 104 colors that wasn't necessarily possible and you can adjust the alpha for some really interesting variations here's a very low alpha so you can see right through the coloring pretty much um, going a little bit higher, you get some interesting tones showing up. And going really high with the alpha, you get the color being much brighter and more vibrant because it's more opaque. And the most interesting feature of 1.6 is color tab only. This is an option for advanced page colors, uh, for custom page colors. And when you select color tab only, what happens is that the color drops off the page. So that means that you just get this gray, desaturated background where there's no panel. And if there's a panel that has the default LED color, like this one, it has the page uh, color, which will be matching the tab perfectly. So if we alter the color for the panel, it's going to go to a yellow here. Panels will always go to behind controls. And now I get out of design mode. This yellow looks like a first class citizen on the page, just like the blue. So now you can uh, choose a page tab color, make some of the page follow that color so that it's recognizable to you when you're going through your pages, and use another color for other panels on the page or other parts of the page. This is a lot of design flexibility. Uh, a lot of users won't be needing this. Other users will be very happy to have it. Um, and this is just part of the advance on the design side in terms of MIDI Designer 1.6. In the next video, I'm going to talk about some other features that we've introduced in 1.6, particularly regarding performance. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out MIDI Designer. And if you have any questions or comments, you can get in touch via the website, via the forums, or the best is to go to more, config, actions, email us, and get in touch that way. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.